Hey everyone, Alex Ryan here, the Import Export Coach. Welcome back to another video. Uh, as you can see, we're watching the unloading and loading off containers. I don't know whether you see that in the background. It's quite unique. It's actually quite an interesting thing to watch. I love watching this sort of stuff. Yeah, it's, uh, it's like, a, I, you know, I don't plane spot. I watch this sort of stuff, as you can see. That's heading to, uh, that's heading to Tokyo. But uh, which I'm, I'm actually heading there in a few days. I'm heading to Nagasaki. But it's amazing these things. And a question I get asked a lot is insurance. How do you how do you make sure that your goods are insured? What if there's a storm? Because occasionally in the South China Sea, there are a lot of storms. There's tsunamis, right? There's tsunamis. There's storms. There's gale winds. Container ships get rocked in that, and it's not uncommon. It's happened a lot. It happened in New Zealand about four or five years ago when the containers just fell into the ocean, right? People lost their life savings. And you know how insurance works on most ships? Is if your container is at the bottom of it and the ones at the top fall in, right? Other people's containers, your container is safe. You still have to contribute to the loss of the containers above. I don't know whether you know about that, but that's it's an old maritime law, right, about shipping. So speak to a shipping agent. If you're thinking about importing containers and you wanna make sure that they are, in fact, uh, protected, keep that in mind because uh, you don't wanna lose your life savings. You want to, or, or you don't wanna be up for a lot of, a lot of or looking after other people's containers. So keep that in mind. Get a good shipping agent, get someone who can really help you, who knows their, their thing. Like, if you look at all these containers here, right, there's thousands of them, tens of thousands of them, right? And I'm visiting a lot of ports. I'm actually here visiting quite a few ports. I was in a different country yesterday looking at their port. But, uh, you know, these containers, they have to be insured. They actually have to be insured. And there's, there's big money in it, but, uh, you know, insurance, you need insurance. If you're doing anything to do with containers, you need insurance, guys. Keep that in mind. All right, that's it for me. I'm gonna make this a very short video. I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. If you want to get more tips, visit my website. I've got a free video program there showing you how to choose hot products, how to import from China, how to start an Amazon business. And if you're looking to um, start an, yeah, if you're looking to start an Amazon business, guys, make sure that, uh, and if you're looking to do containers like this, make sure that you are choosing a good product for starters. And the, the shipping rates, make sure you're getting a great shipping rate. Talk to your shipping agent, talk to your customs broker about that. All right, so have an awesome day, guys. Talk to you real soon. See you later. Oh, 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 oh,